football with contact going to the ground, you must hold on. If you're going to the ground to catch the football, when you're going down, you must hold on. But this could be a touchdown, and I'm going to just tell you the truth, or a two-point conversion, I should say, because this, he gets possession in his second act. Since it's his second act to reach over the goal line and has possession, that might overrule the fact that he lost it once he's hit by Lacey. How about how many times Lance Moore makes the effort to catch it and try to cross the plane, regains control, and not until, you know, it's Lacey stumbling across and just, uh, you know, kicks it basically, right. and wittingly, does the ball pop out. So well, this is a huge call at this point. It's huge. What makes it different was his second act. Now, you know, listen, we talk about these all the time. I talked about it this morning about even when you're not contested to the ground, do you have to go through the process? Yes, but when it's a second act like he did, and we were informed during the commercial, I'm not gonna say I knew that, that we were informed, that's why he could be overturned. Now, will Scott Green see it that way? To reviewing the play, the receiver had possession of the ball with, with the uh, ball breaking the plane up the goal line, the points are good, two-point conversion. The Lions is not charged for the timeout. The Saints up seven. And it's the second act, the fact that he finally caught it and reached it into the end zone. That's what made the play be final and over. He explained it well because the fans see this so often during the regular season where the player doesn't take it all the way to the ground, if you will, on the first act. And they say, wait a minute, that was not a catch. But as you said, there's a difference this time. If it had been out in the field, it would have been maybe incomplete. But right. the fact that he's breaking the plane of the goal line changes it. So what a play by Lance Moore. He catches it.